This weekend was the Super Bowls. It was. It was. More importantly, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> Priorities, I suppose. Yeah. I'm going to be 41. Uh, don't even say the words out loud. It makes me nuts. I'm going to be very old, but I take comfort in knowing that I will never be as old as Dan. Because <laughs> you're, like, you. you're like, what, 110 now? Yeah, that's it. True love. <laughs> well, then. Let's let's start this nonsense for the week, cause oh Jesus Christ, I the stuff that all right. Let's go. Let's go. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, bring back all sorts of horrible stuff. A little something we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And of course, Crazy. this has got to be our opener because I will never understand I'm this. I die. You're talking about the Super Bowls. Yes. And I live not far from Philadelphia now. I live about 40 minutes from Philadelphia. So And they they won. They won their first ever Super Bowl. They did. And they were so happy. They were so excited. They were so They were, they were so, you know, overtaken that that to they had celebrate, to burn the fucking city down. They burned their own. They fucking rioted in their own. They riot. They looted and rioted in their own city. They caved in the awning of the Ritz Carlton because so many people piled on it that they just took it down. Instead of climbing the light poles, they just ripped them out of the ground. They ripped them out of the ground. Oh yeah, there's a picture. They were they, they were flipping over cars. Yeah. And it just basically they went. It's your town. You what? OK, if it was someone else's city, maybe I could see that we beat you. Now we're going to sack your city. It's a time honored tradition. Dates back to the Middle Ages. OK. If they had lost, I could see them venting their frustrations, going out onto the city and destroying things. I could see them being denied. And But this was their own town, and they won, so they fucked up everything. Two things. I've said it before. Philly fans are fucking savages. They're a whole other species than us. They're like, like when Homo sapien and Neanderthal split off, they went a whole third way. Two, it kind of burns me how we handle shit like this in this country, because like, if it was a bunch of black people rioting because a 10 year old kid got shot by a cop, it'd be animals and thugs and blah, blah, blah. But it's a bunch of fucking white people tearing down the city because they won a football game, and that's cool. And do you know what the police... They're poli just enthusiastic. Do you know what the police were doing this during, while this was all going on, while cars were being flipped and stuff was being smashed? Do you know what the police were doing? Hunkering down? They were they, they were out celebrating, too. Yeah. There's, there's the police right there. And I look forward to the fucking YouTube comments complaining about SJWs, blah, 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 blah. Go fuck yourself. You know it's true. It's... You won! Yeah. Well, and many people have made the point... Wow, I just did many people said. People have made the point that... It would have been so much worse if they lost. I, uh, Although, they've been in the Super Bowl and lost before, so I kind of think that's not true. I think if they lost, they would have been just been like... Eh. I... It but yeah, yeah, we won the Super Bowl. Let's burn the fucking city. What I, I I have a little bit of a sense of this. When I lived in Savannah, um, uh, St. Patrick's Day is huge in Savannah. It's 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 like really yeah. It's it's as big as it is in Chicago and or or Boston. It's a huge big thing in Savannah. 
and people come in from all all over to party in Savannah on River Street. And those of us who lived there left <laughs> or stayed home or board, boarded up the we 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 it was sort of like the Visigoths. It's like the purge. Yeah, well, I was I was going for a more historical example, but yeah. It's like the barbarians were at the gate. They so we just sort of took refuge. So I understand a little, but this was your it's not like us in Savannah went out and trashed our own city. We just kind of got out of the way of the tourists and took their money. Yeah. When it's like a Dothraki horde wor working its way through, you kind of get it. This you These live... people have to live there like that's somebody's car that they need to work tomorrow. Possibly at one of the shops whose windows you smashed in for not enough money. Like, and why did you do it? Because let's let's, let's couple other videos on here. Let's see. We won a sports game. Let's have a look here. Here's another video. There we go. That's 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 that's, that's they're celebrating their victory. Hi, Peggy. You want more treats? Is that why you're giving me the eye? Okay. That was them. That was fire. They were celebrating their victory by burning stuff. In their own town! It's like a Viking thing, I guess. Why did you get off the thing? I'm going to put treats up here. Peggy, you are not a smart cat. I love you, but I don't think you're pretty. I just don't understand. Yeah. I've been because... excited about many things. About movies, about, you know, concerts. But I never went to a concert that was so good... The entire you just had to burn the fucking stadium. Down. That everybody decided this the best thing we do right now is knock everything the fuck over. Actually, I have. Because I was at that Dave Matthews concert in Connecticut back in the 90s. Or was it like 2000 something? I don't know. That ended in a riot and they were shooting people with rubber bullets and shit. I was at that concert. At a Dave Matthews concert? Yeah, that because, was my reaction. Because, Dave because white people in Connecticut... Blood on the khakis, man. Shit. Because it was a bunch of fucking frat boys who had done... They were selling, like, balloons full of nitrous for $5 in the parking lot. Yeah. For God a Dave you Matthews not cut. disrespect Hootie and the Blowfish. And then, like, beer. And I got laughed at by all the people I came with because halfway... It was an outdoor venue, and halfway through, I'm like, guys, I think there's a skunk out here. Bless your heart. At a Dave heart. Matthews concert. Not skunk. They were like, Tara, that's pot. And I'm like, that's what pot smells like? Because I was a dork. So, but yeah, then there were riots and there were rubber bullets and tear gas and at a Dave Matthews concert in Connecticut. Because that's what white people do. Well, let's, let's move on to more stupidity. This is, we're not going to spend too long on this because it's just an update. Remember that dude who was going to build his own rocket and prove to the prove earth, was, the earth flat? was flat? Yeah. Says I don't. He, I remember we, he was saying he didn't need science because that's not what rocketry is. I mean, it lit, that literally is what rocketry is. But all right, dude. All right. Flat Earther tried to fly away. His rocket didn't even ignite. Well, that's what happens when you build a rocket without science. Because you notice Elon Musk's rocket did quite well. He put a fucking car in orbit. He did. That's too much money. You put his car in orbit. That's what spare. That's when you have too much motherfucking money. Yeah. Launching your goddamn car. You know what? I'm tired of this car. Let's launch it into space. You have too much fucking money. So yeah, <laughs> I want Lupin says it happens to a lot of guys at that age. Yeah, his rocket did not ignite, as it were. That should, he should get a Viagra endorsement deal. <laughs> Oh, did your sister show up for some treats? All right, we'll give her some treats, too. Sorry, I'm being overrun by raptors now, because yeah. I opened the treat bag. Saturday marked Hughes' third aborted launch since he declared himself a flat earther last year and announced a multi-part plan to fly to space by the end of 2018 so he can prove astronauts have been lying about the shape of the planet. Like, how do you think space works if the Earth is flat? What do you think orbit means? How does gravity operate if the Earth is flat? It's 
all based on centrifugal force and shit. And like, literally none of that works if everything's not round. Hughes blamed technical difficulties, including a bad O-ring, for his steam-powered rocket's failure to ignite. Was he going to be in this rocket? Yes. So he was going to get in his steam-powered rocket and fly out into space. Yes. And then have a giant existential crisis when he saw that the Earth actually is round and then die. (laughs) That's like the saddest movie ever. I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe that a bad O-ring is is sort of code for I don't want to get into this fucking thing. <laughs> Just maybe. You think he doesn't believe his own height? I don't I would I like building stuff. I like messing with technical stuff. I like all sorts of fiddly bits and blinky lights and wires. And he I would never Try to fly into space in a rocket I built myself. Yeah. That is ill-advised. Unless you're Elon Musk. Uh, And I don't think he built it personally. And all he sent up was his car. Let's move on to a little bit more of a romantic story. Oh. By way of stupidity. Dottie, there's treats right there for Peggy. Dottie's eating your treats. Eat those. I, I I would do many things for my girlfriend. I love Sarah very much. I would do many, many things for her. But this, you won't do that? I will not do this. I, I won't do that. Th- this, this right here is what I won't do. Oklahoma man called in bomb threat to help girlfriend. In what way would that help your girlfriend? Is she on the bomb squad? Canadian County, Oklahoma. A 27-year-old man has been taken into custody after allegedly making a bomb uh, bomb threat to a local county administration building. Officials with the Canadian County Sheriff's Office say the county administration building received a bomb threat. Uh, The caller told receptionists at uh, the administration building that if all the inmates at the county jail weren't released within 10 hours, he would blow up the county government complex. Authorities say the suspect was identified as 27-year-old Brian Thomas Doro, who was arrested at his Oklahoma City home on Wednesday afternoon. Doro allegedly told investigators he made the threat because his girlfriend had a court, well, had court regarding the custody of her children, but couldn't afford an attorney for the civil case. He says he thought he could buy her some time by making the bomb threat. I want to point out to the surprise of absolutely nobody, he's wearing camo. Yeah. Actually, it's not just camo. He's got little birdies on it, too. It's like forest camo. It's yeah. got, he's got little birdies on his shirt. Also, what you've helped her do is lose custody of her children. Yeah. Because she's fucking the kind of psycho that would do this. Yeah. So this... good job. Cause... She's going to lose those kids. This is what's called as evidence that you have entered into the so now she can't afford a lawyer right i'm willing to bet if you could have afforded a lawyer you would have gotten one instead you called a bomb threat so you don't have a lawyer you're going to jail and she ain't gonna get those kids well okay can we be perfectly honest here if this is her boyfriend do you think she had a hope in hell of getting those kids anyway? I mean, you never know. <laughs> Unless dad is like Ultron. <laughs> there's actually now you say that my dad is Ultron. There's a character in Runaways. His dad is actually Ultron. Ultron doesn't have a dick. He built a kid. Ultron doesn't have DNA. He built a kid. He built a cyborg kid. Is Ultron on Runaways? Well, not on the TV show. Because they don't have the rights to it. Because Marvel Entertainment. Okay. Marvel Studios hates Marvel Television. So you're talking but... the comic book, not the TV show. Yes, I am. I'm talking the good show. Okay, because sh- I'm, I'm talking... like, I have not seen a robot in any of those ads. I'm talking the good one. Okay. 
But yeah, he just made himself a little baby robot. He made he made himself a kid. Yeah. Okay. Although it wasn't a robot, it was like a boy with like it was like a Terminator, like he had flesh on the outside. And the kid did, he made himself like a Westworld kid. Yeah, and the kid didn't even know he was a robot. <gasps> so he made himself a Westworld kid. Yeah, he made himself a Westworld kid. That's not okay. Yeah, Fuck does not Ultron. Okay. Yeah. But so yeah, Ultron would be a pretty bad dad. But uh probably, you know, you could convince a court that even if your day if his the dad was Ultron, it's probably better than the dude who called in the bomb threat. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Ultron has tried to end the world more than once. <laughs> he, I mean, like, at least the bomb threat was fake. Ultron <sighs> has act actually tried to end humanity. So I don't, I don't think so. Oh, Christ, we have more of this shit. We're on, we're on a roll more, here. More Ultron? No. More fun with false reporting. Personal grievance prompts Oregon man to tell airport relatives are terrorists. Wow. Tensions can run high around family weddings, but an Oregon man took his resentment to new heights when he made two phone calls to airports falsely claiming his father and brother were terrorists. Dude, fuck you. Sonny Don Donnie, uh, Sonny Donnie Smith. Sonny Donnie Smith's calls resulted in the temporary detainment and questioning of his brother and father and a missed flight. The reason? Smith was told he was not welcome at the family wedding the Smiths were traveling to. The 38-year-old from uh, Clackamas, Oregon, made the calls to uh, McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. Smith oh, I've been there. Smith waived indictment by a federal grand jury to plead guilty to the charge of anonymous telecommunication harassment. Calls prompted the FBI to get involved before investigators realized it was nothing more than a hoax. Smith is now facing a maximum prison term of two years, a $250,000 fine. So, you weren't invited to the wedding because like, quite likely you pull shit like this quite often. Yeah, I can't imagine why your family doesn't want to hang out with you. Can't can't figure in the world why your ass would not be when you thought, okay, I'm not invited. Fuck you. I'm gonna get you arrested. Ha. Like even Maleficent wasn't that rude. <laughs> she gave that bitch sixteen good years. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it, 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 uh, I'm not invited to the wedding. Fuck you, jail. No. I what can't you... imagine why you wouldn't be invited to the wedding. Like, who wouldn't want you? This is in their special day. This is an astonishing lack of self awareness. Because if your family says we would not, we were not invited to this wedding, that's a moment you can sit there and go like, huh. Why are they doing this to me? Now, it could be, on the one hand, your family are assholes and they don't approve of the way you live your life and they want to punish you for it. That's fair, but I think it's safe to say in this instance, if your reaction is not a moment of introspection, but to jump to a fake terrorist call to get your family members arrested and make them miss their flight... That's not going to make them invite you. No, you're not. You're. They're not going to go. It's not like they're going to be like, well, Dad and, and Jimmy John Jr. can't make it. Sonny, what you doing? I already paid for their mails. I don't think they talk like that in Oregon, but whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... His name's Sonny Donnie. So Sonny Donnie. <laughs> Sonny Donnie. Okay. But, yeah, it's not like they're going to go, you know, we were so wrong to not invite you. We see that now, now that we're in yeah. jail for, be for, for a being alleged terrorist. We you know, I've really... Having this cavity search has really given me time to reflect. On the true meaning of... It wasn't of even that. They were guests at the wedding. Like Yeah, 
It wasn't even a f- yeah! It wasn't, it wasn't even their decision! You know, if I were the people at the wedding, I would I would have paid for a lawyer for the guys who got uh, charged with terrorism just to be like, thank you for not inviting him. We're we're sorry you took the hit for this one. Wow. Thanks for not bringing him. Oh, so, okay. On this show, we have seen people attempt to smuggle so many things in so many ways, in so many places, in so many holes. This... Wait, wait. We had people that stole a bridge. Stole a bridge. This one's kind of original, though. Ton police pull over a car and oranges come tumbling out. Police in Seville, Spain, came across a bizarre scene when they pulled over two cars after a short chase. According to Europa Press, officers suspected something wasn't quite right when they saw the cars driving very close together. When they tried to pull the cars over, they took off. A short chase through a dirt road followed. Inside the vehicle, police found the origins. The origins. That's a lot of oranges. That's They're not even in bags or anything. Look at these pictures. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my god. Police, police recovered more than four tons of oranges. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna slow down your car. The drivers claimed they were, quote, coming from very far away and had been stopping and collecting oranges along the way. You can't... From where? Grocery stores? <laughs> right, like, you don't just collect that many oranges. The cops didn't buy it. They later learned the oranges were stolen from a shipment. They charged five people, a couple, their adult son, and two brothers with theft. What were you going to do with all those oranges? Apparently... So he was a ton of cocktails. <laughs> Screwdrivers for everyone! <laughs> and here I was thinking, who had the scurvy? <laughs> <laughs> like, do, do, is there a whole city somewhere dying of scurvy that I don't know about? So this, this was an orange heist. There's another car with a bunch of champagne in it. <laughs> Do they have a motive listed? No, they they stole them. Apparently, uh, 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 apparently, I guess I suppose to sell them. But here's yeah, the I thing: guess you could just put, but so many. This you're is, not going to sell them before they go bad. This is some real amateur hour bullshit here. Look, if you're gonna do crime, you gotta spend money to make money. Rent a fucking truck. Yeah, because that's affecting your visibility and it's weighing your car down. Yeah, you can no that look at the back of that car. You ain't yeah. seeing out the back of that car. And I hate to break it to you, unless your windows are really well tinted, someone's gonna notice that your back seat is full to the top with oranges. As, and you're not if you attempt to get away from the cops. In a commercial, in a, a passenger vehicle full of oranges, you're not going to maneuver very well. No. Your engine is going to cry. I'm looking at the second car is a hatchback, and uh -huh. I have a little hatchback, and I'm trying to imagine driving my little fucking roller skate with the hatchback loaded down with oranges, and my poor car just being like, oh god, kill me. <laughs> Rent, rent a fucking truck. Because you know what? If you'd rented a truck, no one could have seen what was in it. Yeah. You could have taken your time. Nobody would have had well, a problem. Later they found a truck also packed with oranges. So they did rent a truck. They just stole more oranges than the truck would hold. Now that's just greedy. That's just fucking greedy. That's... Come on, man. You gotta let some of those oranges go. You don't need all the oranges. You don't need them all. The oranges, yeah, people are pointing out the oranges outweighed the car they were in. There were yeah. there was more orange than car. Because both of those are like compact cars. There was more orange than fucking car. What was what was your plan here? There was it's it was <laughs> What was phase two? First you get the orange, then you get the money. 
Then you get the power. <laughs> like this was a heist plan by the underpants no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, let's forgot move, the middle. Let's move back. Okay, let's move back to America. This is this is a very American issue. Oh, and it's Newark. It's Newark, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Um. Look, I understand there is a place for service animals in our oh, culture. Oh God. You know, yeah. You already know what the fuck that this one is. Everyone sent this to us. There's a place well, for service animals in my animals. backyard too. But service animals are trained, they are certified, they have, you know, a list of what can be and can't be a service animal. Just by claiming... Service animals and therapy animals are very different things. Yeah. yeah and emotional... Physicians don't have to let your therapy animal in, they have to let your service animal in. Right. If you're blind, if you, you know, you ha you're, um, have other specific issues, like uh, you're confined to a wheelchair, that... You need an animal to assist you. Service animal, one thing. Therapy animal, emotional support animals, that's different not thing. different thing. So, which brings us to this. Woman denied emotional support, Peacock, on United Flight. Because of fucking course she was. United Airlines is cracking down on emotional support animals. A woman at Newark in Liberty International Airport recently brought, and here's the here's the fucking picture, because of course she gets <laughs> just on, chilling that on shit. the luggage cart. Woman at the Newark Liberty International Airport recently brought a peacock to fly with her on a United Airlines flight. <sighs> the spokesperson for United said the travelers with the peacock were told. They would not be able to bring it on board. The animal did not meet guidelines for a number of reasons, including its weight and size. We explained this to the customers on three separate occasions before they arrived at the airport. So they knew this in advance? They were told three times before they got to the airport, you ain't flying with the peacock. And they're, they're, they're the people that figure, well, once I show up, they can't turn me away. I paid. They can. Airports are little fiefdoms, man. They got their own law. It's a peacock. It's, it's a goddamn, look at the size of that thing. Yeah. It's. At the risk of being speciesist against peacocks. They're very pretty. What kind of emotional support is a peacock giving you? Is I've, it cuddly? I've talked about this before. Have you ever heard a peacock? <laughs> Have you ever heard a peacock? Yes. They scream. Yes. <laughs> they scream. He's scaring the cat. Oh. <laughs> that is giving me a look of death. Like my cats, I've had a migraine for two days, and Peggy's been curling up and purring and kneading on me, and that's comforting. In what way do, a pe do peacocks offer emotional support? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I had, fuck, I had the dog and the cat both laying on me. Yeah. Not next to me, on me. They sensed that, like, like yesterday I woke up and I had Dottie wedged in on this side of me and Peggy wedged in on this side of me. And they were just like, don't worry, we'll make it better. With compression. <laughs> okay, thank you. Also, peacocks, they just randomly poop sometimes. They do. And they're not always friendly. I mean, imagine if you have this one as a pet. It's not going to peck anybody's eyeballs out. But it's also maybe not gonna like being on an airplane no no it's not in an enclosed tin can with about a hundred other humans and radically changing pressure i already that's one of the reasons i already i, I already think that that small children shouldn't fly not because it's bad not because you know oh god fuck children but because you can't explain to a child what's happening we're so, going to Ireland in the spring, and my two-year-old niece is coming, and I love my niece. Yep. 
we're not sitting near them. <laughs> yeah, because you can't explain to a two-year-old, look, okay, here's what's going to happen. You're like, oh, gosh, we couldn't get seats in the same row. Darn. Your ears are going to make some weird feelings. That's okay. Mm -hmm. It'll go away. Uh, there's going to be a lot of loud, rumbly noises. It's going to feel like we're lip, but you'll be fine. You can't explain and you're gonna that. Be in this, you're going to have to stay in the same spot for the next four to six hours. You can't explain that to a two-year-old. No. It's it's like a night. All they know is all of a sudden the entire world is shaking. Their head feels funny. They're strapped to a chair, and there's weird shit going on outside the window. As far yeah. as they're concerned, this is Armageddon. Yeah. Ugh. So, I'll let you know how that goes. Finally this week, I've talked about... I, I've... This is the Howard one... Stark did have a flamingo on Agent Carter. It was really mean. I... I... They stole a road, Tara! I've heard tell of this. They, they stole a fucking road! <laughs> Highway robbery! Highway robbery. Chinese man steals road, sells chunks to stone material factory. Enterprising thief in eastern China has given new meaning to the phrase highway robbery by stealing an 800 meter long stretch of concrete road overnight. How? Confused locals uh, called police on January 24th to report that the segment of road had mysteriously gone missing leading some to believe that an unannounced road renovation was underway. Police soon discovered that a man surnamed Zhu had hired a digger to rip out the road and trucks to ship the chunks of concrete to a stone material factory which purchased them. Oh my god! Zhu had been looking for a way to make money and felt that digging up and selling the concrete would be a good, quote, business opportunity, rationalizing the move by saying a newly built road nearby had made the dug-up road obsolete. No one was taking the road. Why don't I dig it up, and I can sell the, semi the cement pieces for some money, the report quoted him as saying. The 500 tons of concrete slab that Zoo removed were bought by a factory for about 795 U.S. dollars. The brazen thefts, theft sparked tens of thousands of comments on Chinese social media, lauding the man's cheek. Yeah, like, I'm very sorry you've fallen off hard times, but that's not your call. You don't decide, well, we got this other road. We don't need this one, Nobody right? Nobody even drives this road anymore. Right, I'll like, just that's sell not, it. Your, that doesn't make it yours. But, I'll, but, you know, I'll just sell it. Well, can we have some of the money? No, I said I'm selling it. Yeah. Duh. You go sell your own road, but that's not your road. Like... He Where stole a it? road. What? Did you lick it and that <laughs> made it yours? That doesn't work with roadways. That I, only works with, like, donuts. He hired trucks and a, a pick miner to, to, and just decided one night, okay, guys, we're taking the road. You got permits for this? <laughs> well, it's yeah, like, did these people not check? I don't know what the laws are over there. Over here, they'd be like... Um, no. Well, who authorized this? And Who are yeah. you? And yeah, are, are you with some sort of, are, are you with the highway or anything? Right. Like, where are the permits for the work, etc.? I mean, just look at this picture. It's just, it's... can you imagine, like, would you not think you were going insane? <laughs> yes! Just, or, like, had stumbled into some fucking Silent Hill shit. Like, okay, last or, night... I, I know you didn't like the new Cloverfield movie. I did. I liked it very much. I've already watched it three times. That you would, like, been magically... Like, that your, that section of road had just been sucked into an alternate dimension or something. Like, like the shit that would run through my head... M me, I would have been before, like... obviously, somebody stole it. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of guy who would be like... I would have to check with somebody to make sure, like, am I remembering wrong, or was there a like road this, here? This road was here yesterday, right? That's I'd be calling Dan and be like, so... So, the this this that was here yesterday, right? Like, I'm not crazy. 
The thing is, if and I could be like, yes, but yes. If I could, <laughs> if I called Sarah and asked her, Sarah, was there a road here yesterday? And she said no, I would believe her. Yeah. I'd be like, okay. Because, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I could swear it was, but. I could. All right, I trust you. Right. Just fuck it. That is, that is insane. Yeah, I'm lucky that. Dan is a reasonably ethical person because it would be so easy for him to just gaslight the shit out of me. <laughs> and he does in little, little tiny ways. Like, I'm terrible. Like, if he buys a new loaf of bread, I will no longer use the old loaf of bread. I will, I will, so eventually we'll have like three half loaves of bread because I'm an asshole. Because <laughs> I like it really squishy. So when he buys new bread, he fucking hides it from me. <laughs> or I add them together. So then I'm like, oh, we're out of bread. And he's like, oh, no, we're not. And he opens up some random ass cabinet and pulls it out from like a pot. And I'm like, are you shitting me right now? <laughs> Is he just hiding food? See, that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff that's not going to get me in trouble with the APA. If I were like really fucking gaslighting you, I'm pretty sure I'd get in trouble. <laughs> that's nice. That's that's heartwarming to know. <laughs> I could gaslight the shit out of you, honey. I don't. I lose my job. I, 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 there's a code of ethics I have to <laughs> gaslight you. The perils of marrying a psychologist, everybody. <laughs> Buy your own damn bread. Like, he does the grocery shopping. I trust, I, I trust him. I married him. And he's hiding bread from me. <laughs> what else am I hiding Exactly. From you? I guess the, exactly. The first thing we learned this week is um, Super Bowls are 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 just an excuse to break shit. I mean, it's Philly. <laughs> Was they it were, like there? And the, the funny thing is, there were starting to be false reports going around, and you didn't know what to believe. Like there were reports that the Liberty Bell got stolen, <laughs> and I was like, I kind of buy that. Yeah, you you sit. You'd be like, well, I mean, because look, at, I, I got I got to show this be entirely surprised. Yeah, because where's this picture? I just want to show the picture. I don't want to I don't want to play the video. Just let me play show the picture. I don't want video. Stop pivoting oh, yeah, the video. We were literally eating horse shit off the street, too. I, I just fuck? I yeah. just got to show this picture again. There's, wow. there's video of dudes picking up horse shit off the street and eating it. This is a picture from the BBC, who are obviously just stunned and aghast at us. Um, In general. Yeah, I wonder why. You In see general. these guys? They're carrying a light post they yanked down. And when they won the playoff game, they Criscoed all the light poles. That didn't stop people from climbing them, so this time they tried hydraulic fluid. So that they not just, only didn't stop them from climbing them, they, they just ripped them out of the fucking ground. <laughs> We've learned this week that um, if if your girlfriend needs help, um, maybe take out a loan, maybe maybe yeah. and, and hire the lawyer. Don't call in the bomb threat. There's also a thing you can do in like family court, and I know this because I went through a divorce, which is you can go in and ask for a continuance to retain counsel. Yep, that's that's a thing that you can do. And it doesn't and cost you. The judge is a huge dick. If you have a decent reason, they will give you thirty days or so. They're they're not going to give you thirty days after your boyfriend calls in a bomb threat, though. That I mean, they might give you thirty days, but not. Not outside. yeah, yeah. We've we've learned that. Um, also, if you want to get invited to the to the wedding, how about be kinder and more thoughtful and 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 nicer to your family. Be more mindful of the people in your life. Don't call in the FBI and say they're terrorists. Oh, yeah, or you could double down on the assholery. That's... You could just be like, fuck it. We've learned if you're going to steal four tons of stuff, plan. Yeah. I mean, that's just embarrassing. Where's your professionalism? Yeah, standards, man. Fuck's sake, don't just cram the oranges into your car. Now I want an orange. <laughs> We've learned that just because you call an animal a therapy animal doesn't magically allow it to go anywhere you want it to. Sorry, not how that and works. And years working retail have taught me that people think that, though. 
Well, it's a service animal. No, if it was a service animal, it would have papers and a little harness. Yeah. If it's an emotional support animal, it's not supported by the ADA. I, I read another article about this earlier this week. Apparently, you can go onto Amazon and buy little, buy all the little gear for your animal to make it look like it's a service animal so that you can take it onto planes. So there's a couple of airlines that have just said, we're done. No yeah. more. So they're actually hurting people who need service animals. Awesome. And finally, we've learned this week... Someone has the audacity to fucking steal a road. That's a thing that can happen. <laughs> that's that's a thing that could happen. You could just go outside and not have a road anymore. It's just because, you know, where you and I see a way to get to and from places, someone else sees an opportunity. And that's why we're not billionaires. I thought China was communist. <laughs>